reporting on a very important story that you all need to know about. Extreme knitting has become wildly popular across the world in the past few hours, and we are here on the scene covering it on one of the most world's extreme knitters. Now, let's take a look at our stuff. Hello, I'm Bruce Dennison, and I'm here with our two knitting stars. Ah. Um, hey guys, what's up? Um, our, our knitting star, uh, she's a world championship extreme knitting master. Um, oh, I'm sorry, miss, what, what's your name? Svetlana Khomachovak. Svetlana Khomachovak. And um, her trainer, uh, who was brutally injured in an accident with our cameraman and our announcer, uh, Mr. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your name? Smith. Smith. Can I call you Smithy? No. So, Svetlana, what, what, um, extreme knitting has become wildly popular in the last few hours. Where did this, where did this come about? In the old country. All the knitting was extreme. We knitted with sticks, the fur of wild beasts. Then we could not find sticks. We kneaded with our hands until they bled. Sounds pleasant. And, um... Mr. Uh, Smith, um, where... We don't see extreme knitting uh, trainers everywhere. How did you choose this profession? Were, did you know you wanted to be, you know, an extreme knitting trainer since you were a little boy? I mean... When I was a little boy, all I could think about was knitting. I knitted everything I could think of. Sweaters, socks. And it was a very painful life, filled with agony and grief. I don't want to talk about it. Well, at, le at least you were into knitting. Don't touch me. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't dream of it now. Now, Svetlana, are there, in extreme knitting, how does this work? Are there levels that you work up, like in Kung Fu or Karate? Like, are there belts? Explain. This is not like Karate. Karate is recreation of habit. This is lifestyle. Bitter, harsh training, years of agony. This is not. Interesting. So, um, Svetlana, how, how did you become this world champion? It's so amazing to see just normal people like you achieving great, great things. I grew up as a little girl. Every day and every night I would knit. My mama, she would not let me stop knitting. And she was a wonderful Pleasant. Um, um, so, for a match coming up this big, how, how do you prepare her, um, Mr. Smith, for an event this uh, big? It's, it's the event of the day. I mean, what, how do you prepare a girl for this? There are three steps. Knitting. Knitting. And knitting! A lot of knitting. It's like the knit athlon. <laughs> you get it? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. Well, that's that's cool. Um so Zvetlana, how 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 do you how do you respond to being in an event this uh gigantous? I mean it's, it's amazing how you're in the World Championships. A explain your feelings at the moment about this great event. 
the other need as the nothing, the crushing. Don't take the bitter agony of the crushing. Put it into my knitting. Are you saying you knit demonic images? I knit my soul. So your soul is yarn. Yarn and agony. Yarn and agony. What what a soul they're um, spitting on. And now, now, Mr. Smith, you, what kind of exercises do you do to prepare to prepare for any knitting event? What? How do you how do you train her to become as awesome as she is at knitting. There are three steps. Knitting. Knitting. And knitting. That was the answer to the last question. Knitting is what we do. I, I think I know that. Um, so, anyway, Svetlana and uh, Smithy... Mr. Smith. Smith, yeah. Mr. Smith. And, uh, yeah, so Svetlana and Mr. Smith, thank you. Thank you for uh, joining us here. We, we really appreciate you opening up to the community, your heart and your souls, whether made of soul-like materials or, you know, yarn and agony. So we, we really thank you for coming on this show. We really, any, any final comments? You disgust me, beagling pretty. That's what my ex-wife said right before she left me. <laughs> and you, Mr. Smith. I have tasted death. What have you done with your life? <laughs> Nothing. Are you single? Come on, I just broke up with my ex-wife. Okay, I, I have to Knitting is my only love. Come on, can't you have two loves? Knitting is my only love. I'm Bruce Dennison, and this is my report on extreme knitting. So, um, why, why are we doing this at 3 a.m.? Because agony is good for the soul. Come on! Um... <laughs> Come on, you can do it. One... <laughs> one more, one more. You got it in you. <laughs> this <Yeah>. is, um... <laughs> so... Your grandmother can knit better than that. Don't insult my grandmama! She bit bad with agony. Duh. Duh. Yeah, I, I'm just here to film you guys. Do do whatever you want. I'm getting sick of you. Turn that camera off. Okay. I'm Bruce Dennison. And this has been a painful, lonely look into the life of of extreme hitting. Wait, what are you talking about, camera? Punk? It's, it's a TV show. Hey, you've injured me enough! Wait! Wait! No! No! God! God! No! I hate you!